So today we are seeking sunshine as we seek the summit of Mount Everest with the record-breaking mountaineer and adventurer, Hari Buddha Magar. Hari knows what it means to struggle. As a child growing up in the foothills of the Himalayas, he lived through the brutal civil war in Nepal. Then at the age of 19, he joined the British Army, serving with the Royal Gurkha Rifles. Landing in Afghanistan, Hari would once again face the brutal realities of war. During patrol in 2010, he stepped on an IED and lost both of his legs. Hari said he felt like his life was over. He battled alcoholism, depression, even attempted suicide. Well, by the grace of goodness, Hari had an awakening and decided to be determined to recognize his resilience and challenge himself to exceed the limitations put on disabled people by society, even his own culture. So he turned to trusting his doctors and himself and learned how to walk with prosthetic legs. But Hari wouldn't just learn how to walk again, he would live again, taking on skydiving, paragliding, bungee jumping, and climbing mountains. Hari finally reached the top, not just in life, but the world's tallest mountain, becoming the first ever double amputee to summit Mount Everest. Joining me now to talk about his incredible journey is Hari Budamagar. It's so great to see you, Hari. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's an honor. So we all want to know what sparked this awakening in you, going from the deepest depression to the highest hike of your life. What happened? How did you turn it around? Um, I just started um, uh, sports uh, and adventure. So after starting in sports and adventure, I found out that, that uh, anything is possible. It's just a different way of doing the things. Um, then um, I, te I wanted to test myself that whether Mount Everest was possible. <laughs> so uh, I went to Nepal and um, tested myself that how my body feels. Then finally, um, I committed myself to climb Mount Everest, but there was lots of problems before I actually um, and that's, start climbing that's Mount Everest. Right, that, that was my next question is, you know, I want to know what it felt like to finally reach the top, but I know it wasn't easy. Tell me the challenges you faced, Hari, and, and what you witnessed that, you know, it, it made you nervous. Uh, the first of all, there was no prosthetic legs uh, were designed to climb uh, ice and snow for double above knee amputees. So we had to find one. And um, uh, one of the friends from Colorado, he sent me a pair. He was welding at his garage and climbing. Um, ice climbing in Colorado. Um, he's one above knee amputee. So he sent me. I started start climbing um, with them. Then later we uh, designed and um, um, they, uh, the PUA Orlando designed the crampons. And uh, yeah, I had lots, lots of help from America. So I really, really appreciate it. Uh, my, uh, hitting, hitting systems from New York, and they were installed in Indiana. Um, my crampons were designed in Orlando. Um, uh, lots wow. of uh, my climbing equipment supplied by North American Rescue <laughs> from South what? Carolina. So, so, uh, so, uh, so that is a w one thing. But uh, another thing was uh, um, I will. I was planned to climb uh, Everest in 2018, in, uh, but in 2017, in December, uh, Nepal government brought the new law to banning uh, double amputees and visually impaired. Uh, so we had to go to Supreme Court in Nepal and fight that case uh, before I start climbing. I know that's amazing that you went all the way to the Supreme Court to overturn that ban. You know, what was it Hari about climbing. I mean, you had done so many adventurous things already, right? Like the paragliding mm -hmm. and the skydiving. Why did you want this adventure so badly? Um, uh, I grew up in Nepal uh, up to age of 19, looking at the mountain every day. Um, from very little age in Nepal, uh, we educated that uh, 
uh, that the Mount Everest is tallest peak in the world, and it's in Nepal, and uh, Nepal is known for Everest, and we Nepalese people are very proud. Uh, and I always wanted to climb, um, and I couldn't able to climb when I was in service. Uh, and when after losing my legs when I was skiing in Colorado uh, um, yeah, or in Germany and Austria, looking at the mountain, I was thinking of the Everest. And uh, in 2016, I went in Nepal to test uh, how my body feels uh, um, on altitude uh, and whether this, is, this was possible to do. So yeah, it was possible to do, I committed. Um, and finally, it's done this year after more than five <laughs> That's, years. And thank you, Mr. Orlando, for those amazing prosthetics. <laughs> I can't wait to see how more amputees now will be inspired to climb. Finally, Hari, I, I understand you want to go back to Afghanistan to the exact spot where you lost your legs. Why? Um, uh, I think um, I escaped the war in Nepal. Uh, and when to join another war. And think, you know, honestly, war doesn't help anyone. And I think uh, we have got all different opinion, different interest and, and uh, different ideology. But in the sake of humanity, I think we shouldn't um, resolve uh, our um, uh, differences with the violence. Uh, and I think, uh, just to, I just want to go there and just, uh, uh, you, you know, we can be a friends, you know, you know, like uh, America and Japan fought um, <laughs> in the war and now, now it's allies and uh, Germany and Europe. So we can be your friends, you know, we, do, we don't want, uh, you know, you, you know, in, in sake of humanity, we need to be your friends. And I, I think that's, that's the message that I, I want, I, I want to send to the world leader, leaders. Well, your light is so bright. Hari, thank you so much for joining us. Really, we all admire what you've accomplished, and I know there's more to come. Hari, thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, to all of your viewers, but also all of my veteran friends uh, there in America. I had so much from you guys, and I really appreciate it, and thank you. Thank you, Hari. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.